Well, I made it to the airport Thank you. and through security, and now I'm just waiting for the flight to Newark, which connects to my flight to Jacksonville. It took a while last night, but we finally found the Sarah Lynn. She looks like she survived quite well. They've moved her to the DIY yard here at uh, Green Cove Springs Marina. And so now we're just uh, starting our endless projects to get her ready to get into the water. We have a launch date of the 15th of November. But she sure is dirty, so we got some cleanup to do. Well, Sarah Lynn uh, survived uh, hurricane season quite well, but now we have to begin the cleanup uh, portion uh, of this trip. Starting with the galley and stove and all the other stuff. So we've got our uh, True Earth cleaning products out and uh, now we're gonna start cleaning this baby up and getting it, uh, getting everything stowed away properly. Lots of fun. So we started our renovation on the interior by taking out that uh, table that was sitting right in the middle of the uh, salon. It was just too big and uh, you know it, it, it blocked your access to the head and to the V-berth you know just as well as uh, being you know something that's constantly in the way so we're just going to put a nice little square table in there and uh, that should uh, that should suffice and it just really opens up this whole uh, salon area just by taking that table out of there so we moved the table over uh, about 18 inches and reduced the size I'm still going to put a different table in there eventually but uh, for now this will do and that just gives us just a lot more space down here and we didn't need that big table anyway so when I want to pull out that settee and make that into a double bed all I have to do is take apart the table put it underneath and away we go so that's one project sort of completed anyway now we got to work on gimbling the uh, Arigo stove so that's the next thing on the list so another project uh, sort of done. I left it a little bit undone just so I could uh, make sure everything balanced and uh, was at the right height. But basically there's my gimbal for the uh, alcohol stove. And I repurposed a whole bunch of plywood and stuff that I uh, wasn't using. so. My cost was zero on this, which is kind of nice. The gimbals are selling uh, for about $250 American, and you can't get them anyway, so this way uh, 
We've got a gimbal that can cook on the fly and uh, that's one more problem solved. So we built and dry fitted a uh, spice rack and cup holder for the galley made out of recycled wood. And we're just going to try it out and if it works fine we'll finish it off. It's looking good. Galley is just finally starting to come together and uh, become a little more functional than it was. It's not a particularly big galley, but uh, you know, we try to make it as efficient as possible and uh, that makes life easier when you're at sea. So we also want to clean out the uh, strainer. So we've cleaned that out. We've cleaned the strainer itself. It's a little stained, but it's uh, all the little particles are out of it. Put that back. Line up that hole. Then we want to put this back on. You got to be careful with this because it's, it's, it's just plastic. And uh, you want to tighten it, but not so tight that it uh, breaks. So just hand tight. Get it on there and uh, she should be okay. So a little bit, we put a little water in there just to give it a start. Sometimes you have to take it off quick, fill it full of water to get uh, the pump going. There's a few hose clamps too that we have to replace. There's, I don't know if you can see it in there, but they're a little rusty, so we're going to replace them as well. Save ourselves some grief. So we got the anode out and it just unscrews from that big plug. And then uh, we put the new one in. and reinstall it in the engine. Yeah, we also put a new uh, crush washer in just to make sure everything seals up nice and tight. And away we go. Well, this my friends, as the label would indicate, is a net locator. So I had been looking for a cheap AIS transmitter and I came across this little bad boy. Now this thing transmits an AIS signal for about 10 nautical miles. Uh, depending on the frequency of the transmission, it can last up to a week without being recharged. You can charge it off of a, a, a 110 or a British, I think it's 220. Or you can charge it off of uh, your computer or off of a USB charger. It comes with this with this cable, so you hook this up to your computer, um, plug it in, and you can program it with your MMSI number and your ship details. All for about $135. So a nice inexpensive AIS transmitter. I don't know how legal it is, and so I can't recommend that you use it, but I'm going to use it. And uh, it's just an extra measure of safety.
when the budget allows, I'll maybe invest in a more expensive unit, but until that day comes, um, this is what we're going to use. So our uh, first morning in uh, Green Cove Springs, we treated ourselves to breakfast at this little place, which is a really cool, busy little restaurant. So if you're out this way, and I'll pay these guys a visit, they're really good. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and come along to our next adventure as we prepare the Sarah Lynn for her journey to Jamaica. I'm sailing, sailing down the river, sailing down the river of dreams. I'm sailing down the river, but it seems that I don't know where I'm going. But when the day is through, I'll come back home.